guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to take you step by step through your very first print and cut with your Roland BN20 or BN20A, which is the uh, printer and cutter that I have. Okay, so they're very similar machines. The setup, everything is the same. So we're gonna do start to finish, how to create the cut line, how to uh, add the cut line in so that you can see it in Versework, so that you can do a contour cut, how to actually cut and everything like that. So if you haven't gotten your machine completely set up and, and you know loaded with material yet, I have other videos for that, so make sure you check them out. I will link to them. Um, but in this video, we are going to start from software all the way till you get your very first um, printable vinyl. Okay, so we're going to start in Silhouette Studio. If you are not familiar with Silhouette Studio, I would highly suggest that you download the free version and then purchase the one-time paid upgrade. The reason for this is it makes it extremely easy to add a cut line. Then you are going to have to use that cut line. It has to go through a couple, a little uh, process here to get it into VersaWorks if you want to contour cut. But that is really going to be the fastest and easiest, most efficient way. So let's get started in Silhouette Studio and we will go from there. So let's bring a file in. We're simply going to go to File, Open, and find the file that we want to bring into Silhouette Studio. I'm going to use this PNG file of a, little, of a um, pumpkin that we have here. And we need to create a cut line around the very outside edge of this so that the Roland can cut it. Now, as you know, in VersaWorks, you need to have a cut line. You can't add the cut line, the contour cut line, directly in Roland. So or excuse me, in VersaWorks. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna trace this design using the trace tool, and you are going to increase the threshold all the way until the entire image is yellow. And then you're gonna click Trace Outer Edge. This is going to put a cut line on the very outside edge of your design, okay? You can't even really see it right now, but I'm gonna show you that it is there this red line. I'm gonna move it away a little bit just so you can see. Okay, so see we have the red line there? You wanna make sure that you have uh, the, the cut line that you just made selected. So you can select both and then deselect the actual image itself. So hold down shift and then click on your image. Now you have just the cut line. You can see that one's red, so I'm gonna change that to teal, which now you can see if I zoom really close, okay? All right, now we are just going to export the design and the cut line. So we're gonna hold our mouse down, select both, and we're gonna go to File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive. Now you will need Business Edition to do this, so we're gonna save this as a PDF file. You could also save as a JPEG or a PNG. I prefer PDF so that the colors kinda stay where they are, and then we're gonna use, I'm just gonna put in here, I'm just gonna put AI in front of this one to keep it straight, okay, for myself. All right, then you're gonna launch Adobe Illustrator and you are going to open that file that you just exported from Silhouette Studio. So here it is. That will open up in Illustrator, all right? And then what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the Roland um, swatch <clears throat> already installed in Illustrator. Okay, so you need to bring that into Illustrator if you haven't already. That is a couple of steps. So if you haven't done that already, I have another video that you can uh, watch through the link down in the comments. Assuming that you already have it, what we are gonna do is we wanna select that path line. So you can see when I hover, hover over the pumpkin, I have that blue line. That's the line around our image. But if you hover over near the edge, you'll see where it has a very small, it says path. So that's what we want to click on. Uh, click on path, all right, and then I'm going to go up to window, and I'm going to click on swatch library, and I'm going to click on Roland VersaWorks, okay? So this is the custom library that we brought in, swatch library, and we have to use this very pink this very specific color pink. This is gonna come in automatically when you bring in the Roland VersaWorks li swatch library. So we're gonna click that, all right? Now what you'll notice is if you look very closely, which is hard to see here, 
but whoops, if you look very, very closely around here, the path line has now changed to that pink. Now, if I hover over this pink, you can see it's called cut contour. That's very important that you make sure that you're using the one that's called cut contour. Don't use any of these other ones, okay? All right, now, that's all we have to do in Illustrator. Now we just need to go up to File and Save As. So I'm going to save to my computer. I'm gonna tell this that I want it to be the PDF. I'm gonna just rename it here so we know which one that we wanna import into um, VersaWorks. And we're gonna save that as a PDF. Now, I'm on a Mac. VersaWorks doesn't work on a Mac. It only works on a PC. So what I do is I then bring my files into G Drive. So I go to New, File Upload, if you're not on this type of computer, you don't have this type of limitation, then you're all set. But this is a limitation that I have being on a Mac with VersaWorks for rolling not working on a Mac. All right, again, if you're doing everything on your PC, this part is not necessary for you. This is just the way that I easily move files and quickly from my Mac where I do everything and then onto the PC, which I have to use for VersaWorks. Okay, so we're downloading that file, okay? And then we're gonna move over to VersaWorks and we're gonna click File, Add Job to Queue. Now, I, as you can see, I already have a bunch of files in here. I'm gonna use QC just because that one's blank and it'll be brand new so it'll show up for us uh, more easily. All right, and it's gonna ask us which one we wanna use. So here we are, we're using the one that says Use that we named and I'll click Open. And if you don't see it right away, it's because right now I'm in QA, here's QB, I need to move to QC, and here is our file. Now, right here where it says special items and it has the A, that's how we know we have the cut lines there. And that's exactly what we want. If we didn't have this little A, our cut lines wouldn't be there. So let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at this file. So we're gonna right click and click settings and a box is going to pop up, all right? So here's all your settings, but we're gonna go specifically, because we're looking at this cut line, we're gonna go to File Format, and you might not be able to see too easily here. Let me see if I can zoom in. But that red cut line that we created is on there. It's kind of flashing a little bit, and that's exactly what we want. So this file will cut for us. All right, so now I'm just gonna set the rest of my settings, okay? I like to change, where is it? My uh, quality settings, I like to change this to uh, sign and display. And you can you know, manipulate your file further if you want to, if you need to rotate the orientation, if you wanna scale, if you wanna make you know, more, two copies or something like that. Whatever it is that you wanna do, um, you are able to do that. In this case, you know, we're gonna keep it simple. I, I would normally crop off some of this white space, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Then you're gonna click OK, all right? And you're just gonna pull it into the rip. Oops, let's see. Drag into the rip. It will do its thing that it does in the rip. And once it's done there, you can see the status is going up. It's at, currently at 1%. This doesn't take very long usually. Once it's done there, there you see it jumped to, now it's at 42%. Once it's finished in there, we will pull the file into print status. And it will then go and do its print first and then cut. After the job has completely ripped, then we are going to pull it into the print status pane, and that will begin the printing process. So just tell it if you wanna print however many you wanna print, and then the process will begin. You do need to make sure that this front cover is closed and that the clamp back here, the loading clamp is completely forward, otherwise you will get an error in VersaWorks. Now, for this very first project, you are going to have waste, okay? You can see we're only gonna print something very, very small, but I don't want you to worry about other features, settings, and functions as far as duplicating or you know layout, different, anything like that. We just want to have a first successful print and cut, and then that way, once we have those fundamentals down, we will move on from there, because there are obviously so many things that you can do with the Roland BN20, but let's let this 
um, print and you'll see that once the printing is done, it will then cut. Now it's returning to the home position, it's gonna reset and then it is going to contour cut directly around our image. Okay, so the material comes out far enough that you can then uh, cut the sheet off if you want. Because I'm gonna try to reuse some of this so I don't waste it all, I'm gonna actually weave this off of here right um, while this is still on the uh, vinyl piece there. So, or I mean on the larger sheet. So this obviously is just adhesive vinyl that you can, you know, for outdoor use, indoor use, signs, uh, sign, like I said, signage, whatever you want to use it for, tumblers, that people use them for whatever. So you can see how beautifully that cut, and then you can go ahead and do whatever it is that you want with these. That Eco Solvent ink that the Roland BN20 uses, it really is scratch resistant, fade resistant. If you, want, if you really want to, you can laminate these at any point in that process. Um, but as a very big beginner, again, I'm suggesting that you just take one step at a time and learn how to print and cut the process first, and then we'll add in all those other fun things like printing on here and cutting on a Silhouette Cameo Pro so that you can keep this printing and you know duplicating your design so you have a whole bunch or lots and lots of different things using other materials and things. But for right now, get that process down and I have a whole playlist uh, for Roland BN20 so that you can learn how to do this. I try and keep it in order. So if you're just jumping into this one and you're like, but I don't know how to do, you know, add the cut line, go back and check out the, um, the uh, playlist from the very beginning. All right, you guys, I will see you soon.